So you and your family are looking to move to Lubbock, Texas. More specifically, South Lubbock. Well, that's what I hear a lot. People are moving to Lubbock and wanna be in the newer neighborhoods or they wanna see what a newer neighborhood looks like, but still have the feel of a quiet neighborhood that's very family friendly. Well, this neighborhood is definitely not one to sleep on because it is kind of a hidden gem and honestly, it is tucked back away off of Quaker and super close to a lot of shopping and restaurants, but it's also very quiet and new construction mixed in with existing construction. So let's go inside and take a look. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Lubbock, Texas, well then be sure to tap that bell and hit that subscribe button so that you can be the first to know about all things happening in Lubbock, Texas. I get calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Lubbock, Texas and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, schedule a Zoom call, whatever is easier for you and your family, and I'd love the opportunity to meet you and help you make a smooth transition into the Lubbock area. Now let's get started. The beauty with new construction right now is they are offering amazing incentives, and in particular, this house is no exception. The builder is also offering incentives for not only this house that they're building, but also a lot of other homes that they are building. This builder does not is not building like you're just basic spec model home where you can go in, customize it, you know, figure out what floor plan you want and then figure out your fixtures. This builder is a little bit different and does things a little bit differently. That's why I wanted to showcase one of his homes here in, like I said, one of the hidden gym neighborhood here in Lubbock. So right when you walk in, I am obsessed with this little detail. The front door is recessed out a little bit. It has two little pocket nooks right on the either side of the door and letting in so much natural light. I'm obsessed with all the natural light that this house has to offer. And then identical little sides on as an entry table or what have you that you want to decorate and accessorize it with. So right when you walk in, you have the main living area and it's very open concept as you can see, but I do love that the kitchen, I'll get there in a second, has two islands, which I think is awesome. But you have the exposed beam in the living area, the tiled brick halfway up with room for the television right above it. This living area space also would be big enough for a sectional if you're looking for a sectional here too. This home in particular is going to be four bedrooms, three baths with an oversized two car garage. And so you can see this kitchen, I love that it has all the built-in storage which instead of just, you know, butler's pantry or something, you have all of the storage that goes from the ceiling to the floor, absolutely stunning. And it has the matching countertops that the two islands have. You have the farmhouse sink, and then of course the chef's fridge with the double stove, which is absolutely stunning with this vent hood. And then the countertop extending as the backsplash behind the countertops, which is, an awesome added feature and then that it goes all the way, the cabinets go all the way and extend to the ceiling. No space left open for dust. I just think it makes the house look very elegant and modern. So right off of the kitchen, you have a couple of additional bedrooms. This is gonna be a Jack and Jill bedroom. All of these have tons of natural light, which if I turn these lights off, you would be able to see just fine. And something too is they have hangers or rods all the way up the ceiling. You might need a ladder of course, but that is definitely something that's an added value to this house. So this is the Jack and Jill bathroom. A walk through. Again, tons of windows in here as well. And then into the room. And then also again with the built-ins. I mean, this house has, they have, the builder did not do your basic builder quality here in this house. I'll open this for you as the shelves and then obviously the drawers. And also to these, these ceilings are not that low. They're not as high as the eight foot ceilings, but they're also have the eight foot doors, which is awesome. Um, and which makes it very elegant as well. 12 foot ceilings in the living area and in the kitchen. And then right across here, 
more built-ins, and a standalone bathroom with an ensuite right off. Again, all the natural light coming in. This has the 12 foot ceilings here. So definitely something that if you're looking for taller ceilings or you have a mother-in-law suite or you're looking for mother-in-law suite, this would be a perfect addition to that. So where I'm at is off between Quaker and 114th Street. So if you're familiar with the Lubbock area or curious as to where we're at, then we are next to HEB, which I know a lot of people are literally loving here. Um, it's our, one of our grocery stores here in Lubbock. And then also too, I mean, there's tons of things to do off of Quaker. Um, let's see, Las Brisas is a really nice restaurant that a lot of people love here. There is a lot of other nice steakhouses. The Falls Athletic Club is, next, is close to here. And then also if you're looking for just, um, you're gonna be close to a lot of your kids' school events. If you're looking for to be close to sporting events and baseball, soccer, football fields, a lot of that is held in South Lubbock close to where this house is located. So as you can tell, I'm in the master suite and I'll flip it around, obsessed with the closet. But let's go back this way towards the bathroom. His and hers vanity. Hers and hers, his and his, with the freestanding tub, with the inlaid shower, and then also to just your standalone master suite. Then I love that it has the doors leading out to the backyard. Easy access if you need to let the dog out early in the morning or late at night. Another thing that I love about this house is if you and your family are looking for space, this house is almost within, I mean, 2,996 square feet. It's so almost 3,000 square feet and it's huge. And my favorite part is this bonus room. So this bonus room is absolutely stunning. It is not just a bonus room where they didn't think of anything. I mean, they added the built-ins, they have the accent wall with the TV. I mean, how awesome would this be as a hangout room, but also as a playroom or a kid's room? I mean, it's secluded, it's back behind the house. And the best part is, is if you do have a lot of stuff, these pocket doors shut. So you can make this an office if you're wanting an office. I mean, you could frost these if you don't want anybody looking in. So I mean, the possibilities here are there. I think, you know, obviously we don't want them frosted right now because of all the natural light that this back door is letting in. But if you did want to, you totally could. But absolutely stunning. Backyard, typical, just backyard size. This is going to be your backyard, but I do want to note it or do want to point out that they added a fireplace back here, which is an added bonus. You don't always see an added fireplace, which is another reason why this is a higher end home. So we'll go back inside and I'm gonna show you just the laundry room. So off to the right, you also have a built-in desk, which I think is awesome. If you're not wanting to use the bonus area space or you don't work from home, but you just need a place to sit, pay bills, here you go, you have it. And then my favorite thing is when the uh, cubbies have doors. Definitely hides all the stuff that kids bring in and it goes all the way to the ceiling, has the drawers at the bottom. Definitely an added bonus here for sure as well. And then right off of the garage entry is the laundry room, all the storage. And then my favorite part too about this laundry room is this hidden door. You can totally add a drink fridge in here if you wanted, has electricity and then you close it and then you can't see it. It's beautiful. And it, all of the doors have soft, have soft closed doors. So added bonus. And then that's the garage, an oversized two car garage. Now, like I mentioned, this house is a four bedroom, a three bath home, and it's listed just under 620,000. It is in Cooper ISD school. So if you're looking to be in Cooper ISD, this neighborhood is one to look into if you're wanting, like I said, the new construction feel, but you're also not wanting to be totally in a new construction area. You know, there are existing homes in the front part of this area and you can get an existing home or you can get a um, new, new construction home. I will say the existing homes, people don't like to sell them because it's such a great location. It is a phenomenal location that not a lot of homes come for sale. So that's why I think that this new construction part, a lot of the homes are going pretty quickly. And like I said, the builders are offering incentives. So 
If you have any questions about this particular home or any homes in the Lubbock area, I'd love the opportunity to meet you and your family and help you make a smooth transition into the Lubbock area. And until next time, we'll see you around.